good fair trade comes into play. Today we'll be talking about why we need what why we need fair trade, what fair trade is, and how we can help. First, why we need fair trade. According to Fair Trade Federation, there is an estimated 1.4 billion people who do not have dollars in the update. And another 2.7 billion who do not have to do it. So they don't make much money, they can't buy the things that they need. Also, one reason why we need fair trade is because child labor and housing conditions in which they work. 280,000 kids from Ivory Coast, Ghana, and Nigeria are working on this beach. And 15,000 children aged 9 to 12 are, are in sold into forced labor on the Ivory Coast. Both fair trade is a good thing. Since these men and children are not being paid fairly, they can't afford the basics that they need for their treatment. They also can't afford medical treatment that they need. Another reason why we need fair trade is that women and children aren't getting the education that they deserve. According to Global Good Partners, girls and ultimately women are often especially hard. Women are five to two thirds of the world, 785 million illiterate adults. Having education is very important and it can help you in life. With education, you can earn more money than then you can stand up for the right to use it. There are an estimated 33 million people in the world with HIV and AIDS, and two thirds of them are in Africa. But both there, and then they, but since they don't have the medical treatment that they need, fair trade comes in and helps them with the life saving treatment that they need. And then, <coughs> What fair trade is, according to the dictionary.com, fair trade is trade fair on legally in which fair prices are paid for futures in developing countries. With fair trade, the opportunity for people, they have they, they help with opportunities that they would want to have otherwise, like having education, more money to help them and their families, and more cool care for them. Some fair trade principles are same care, mutually agreed upon wages, and providing clean and healthy workers. And when, when providing a safe workplace, they don't have to worry about, about what might happen to them. Fair trade also provides health care for the workers and the families. And other definitions of fair trade. So that fair trade is a par partnership based on dialogue, which means that the producer and the consumer both have a say in what they do. And there's some ways that we can help. One way is by buying fair trade products. According to the good news good, but buying these products is a sustainable way of life for support of both communities. Are you even Workers can live in conditions that are good for them and their families. And if every person in the United States were to buy just one fair trade product, they could help a million families for one year. And according to the Fair Trade Foundation, more than 7 million people in Africa, Asia, and Latin America benefit from a trade like farmers, farmers, farm workers, and their families. Another way to help is by getting to know the issues and then talking about it with people that you know. Not only does fair trade help the producer, it also helps you the consumer. With fair trade, there are lots of possibilities for men, women, and children. A foreign service. A couple of things that they now have with fair trade are fair wages, medical care, and safe work conditions. I just told you about why we need fair trade.